is BLM here, and it's time for game collection update for May um, 2012. Um, this is not everything I picked up, actually. Um, I'm actually not going to show you everything I picked up because, um, yeah, this is, yeah, I'll just show it next month. It's, yeah. Um, like some stuff I picked up, it's um, using next month's budget. So I decided I'm just going to show it for next month to make it like, yeah, because I spent a lot of money this month. Um, but, um, yeah, this is the stuff I picked up this month, about 52 games or something like that. Um, picked up a couple more, just there were duplicates, but, um, alright, this first stack right here, this first stack right here is stuff I picked up from Gamers Inc., which is, um, a local game store, um, they, um, uh, uh, whatever, yeah. So I picked up 11 games there for $11. These first eight were, um, what is it, in the clearance bin, which used to be buy one get one free. They changed the buy two get two free, which kind of sucks because a couple of these I probably wouldn't have bought, but whatever. Um, so yeah, these ended up being 50 cents a piece because they were um, a buck a piece and they were buy two get one and buy two get two. So um, yeah, two game, two game got. NFL 2K3, which I have every version of this game now, so yay. These are all complete, I believe. Yeah, they are all complete. And then I got Knockout Kings 2003 for GameCube, so. Um, then three Xbox games here. Um, Knockout Kings 2002, just picked up 2003, so probably won't play this. Um, this one I picked up just because it's exclusive. Uh, NBA Inside Drive 2003. And uh, Top Spin, which I hear this is a great game, even though I haven't played it. Yeah, they're all complete. So. Um, yeah, then these um, PS2 games were also 50 cents a piece. Um, MLB Slugfest 2003. Whenever I see these midway um, sports games, I usually pick them up because they're usually really good. Got um, Magic's Music Maker, which is just a Magic software. Thing. Um, I got State of Emergency for 50 cents, which I thought this was a pretty good deal. Um, it's a great game. However, the case is extremely beat up, which is why it was in there. Um, but it is complete, and the disc is in good shape. So Then these next three games I paid full price for, which wasn't that much. Um, this was a buck. Uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution for the Dreamcast. So for a buck, not bad. Any Dreamcast game for a buck, I'll pretty much pick up. I mean, if I don't have it already. Then, um, these two games are three bucks a piece, which, um, I know I could have gotten them for cheaper, which is something I usually don't do. Like, when I know I can get a game for cheaper, I usually don't pick up the game, but I did this time for some reason. Um, pick up Maximo Ghost of Glory for PS2. Um, yeah, completely in great shape. Um, yeah, I got these games because I really want to play them, and I popped this one in, and tell the truth, I'm a little disappointed. Um, yeah, I just, the actual gameplay itself is okay. It's, like, it's good. Like, the game itself is good. However, they add some mechanics in there that I'm just not really a big fan of. Um, but the game that I am a really big fan of is this, um, for three bucks. Audible Munch's Odyssey. Um, Xbox exclusive, complete. Um, big fan like big fan of this game um uh, actually never played an odd world game before this and really happy i um popped this in because it's a fantastic platformer um adds in some uh puzzle elements and stuff like that really cool um yeah this now next um pickups are from um my local flea market i haven't gone there in forever um sick cooper if you're watching this you should know which one it is um it's um, Flea World and Sanford. Yeah, um, it's pretty much the only major flea market around here. It's not really a flea market. It's just like a whole bunch of like fucking um, resellers and stuff like that. But um, you can get stuff for cheap there. So um, really, all I picked up there was a whole bunch of fillers. But whatever. Like this first stack um, came from uh, what? What? I mean, there are four resellers at the market two of them um, I did not pick up anything at one of them was just like really overpriced like all the games were even sports games were like six dollars um, yeah I'm not picking those up and then um, 
The other one, I just didn't feel like asking the guy like how much each game was because they were all behind that last case. So after I realized that, like I just walked away. But um, this one, this guy had um, a lot of retro stuff, and then like all retro stuff was like buy two get one. Ended up getting like five dollars worth of games, and I got them down to three. So I got six games, so fifty cents a piece. I got a Game Gear game. Don't have Game Gear, but it's pretty cool to have a Game Gear game. Uh, GP Rider, I think. Yeah, GP Rider. Never even heard of it, but whatever. This was probably the best pickup of the six. Um, FIFA 99 for N64. This is like a six dollar game, so fifty cents, not bad. Three NES games. Um, Bandai Golf Challenge Pebble Beach. These are all in great shape too. Um, Ice Hockey, which I hear is a classic. And this one I just had to pick up based on the name itself. Uh, Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. It's not regular golf, it's Fighting Golf, I swear. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's in K title, so that's another reason why I picked it up. I picked up one Genesis game, not in the greatest shape, but um, RBI Baseball 3. Um, it is complete, however, like, I don't know if you could see this, but when you close it, this part indents right there. Because um, right here there's like a like a bump in the case. Like I don't know what happened, but whatever. And these were 50 cents, so. Then this other vendor had um, a, like a sh like a, a shelf in the back. It said one dollar each. Um, so I got what, nine games from there, and then got one more game that wasn't in there. Um, yeah, I ended up getting everything for ten dollars, so it was a dollar piece pretty much in the end anyway. Um, I'll show you the N64 ones first. Um, I love these red um, cases, but I got um, I have red cartridges. Um, All Star Baseball 2001 and NFL Quarterback Club 2001, both um, acclaimed games, and they put them in these red carts, which is awesome. I love these. Um, pick this up. It's disc only, but whatever. I mean, I wanted the game. Uh, Wild Nine. I don't know if you can see that. Wild Nine, disc only. It's in, the disc is actually in good shape, so... I mean, there's like a sticker residue right there, but... Except for that, the disc is in great shape, and... Um, yeah, I really want to try this out. It's made by the same people that made Earthworm Jim, so... And I hear it's a really good game. Uh, pick the... Uh, Pitball? Which, I actually never heard of this game before, but it was a buck. Um, no manual, but um, it does come with the back and spine and stuff like that, yeah. Um, yeah, supposedly it's like a s futuristic sports game or something, I don't know. Picked up three Dreamcast games there, um, you get more Dreamcast games, so picked up NFL 2K2. Um, this one's complete, however, like, someone cut off the barcode, so, uh, this is still like a $5 game. Um, Raider Rumble Boxing Round 2, no manual, but ha again has the back and stuff. Great game. And Tennis 2K2, which is the same as NFL. Um, the back is cut off, but whatever. Then, these first two PS2 games were also in that bin, um, or shelf, whatever. Um, Outlaw Volleyball Remix. Complete. Um, this is in good shape, too, so. Fuck, can't complain. This game was, um, well, um, alright, anyways, Kengo. Master of Bushido, which is a great game. It's complete. However, um, when I got it, the case was extremely beat up, and like the plastic, like right here, was ripping off and stuff like that. So I switched off the cases, and now it's in great shape. So, and then this one wasn't in the clearance bin. Um, it was um, two dollars, so I got a dollar off. Um, I was like really excited to see this because I remember seeing um, TB four six 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 seven. Um, like Tom, uh, his video, a long, long time ago, um, where he picked this game up and he was saying that this is like one of the worst PS2 games, and um, I saw it there, I had to pick it up, and that's Prism Chapter 1, The Dark Unicorn, yeah, uh, it's complete, I actually popped this in, it's, it's meh, eh. it's not terrible, but it's just not good, it also comes with a comic book thing at the back of the manual, it's pretty cool, so, but yeah. Yeah, pick that stuff up. Um, okay, um, this next stuff, this is sort of a mix of stuff. Alright, um, 
these first three games I got at uh, my local Salvation Army. Paid two bucks a piece. Not bad. Um, got they had a whole bunch of PS One games. However, most of them were either in terrible condition or um, they were just not good games. Um, yeah, all the games were two bucks a piece. Um, I don't know. I like I, there was um, Mech Warrior Two, which I was going to pick up. However, it didn't have the main one. The disc was extremely scratched, so I didn't pick it up. But I did pick up these two. I got G Police, which normally this is in a double case, but um, instead it's like like my um, you all know Jack. It's like in one of these where like it opens up and oh yeah, I forgot. There's like some cheats right there that came with it. But um, yeah, it's a double disc game. Um, haven't played it. Supposedly it's a helicopter game, so, um, two bucks, not bad. And this one, um, I had to pick up because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, this is a fucking brewing game, as everyone knows. And it is Jumpstart Wild, Wildlife Safari Field Trip. And of course I'm joking, but, I mean, I saw this for two bucks. Uh, I couldn't turn it down. I mean, this is just something cool to have for the collection. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, two bucks. Whatever. And this was probably my favorite find of the month. Um, I picked this up for two bucks at the Salvation Army as well. Um, I already had the game loose, but it was complete and bought. And I already sold the loose copy that I had for three bucks. So I pretty much got this for free and a buck extra. Um, and that is Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku. Um, this is complete in the box. Um, yeah pretty cool to have complete um it's tells you it's not really the greatest game it's an okay like sort of rpg with dragon ball z characters but um it's cool to have it complete this is my first complete game boy game so and i pick up um these three games which you already saw in my package from target video but um i'm just gonna show them again daniel x the ultimate power for dx dx ds um a pretty decent um beat em up um Put around half an hour into it. I haven't put too much time. It's a, it's pretty decent. Yeah. Shit. All right. Um, I got Bayonetta, which um, it's a brilliant game. Uh, platinum. It's a platinum him. Uh, platinum game game. Um, which pretty much already says that it's a brilliant title. Um, great beat 'em up. Like, people said that um, it's a ripoff of Devil May Cry. I don't think so. It's just a pretty good game. And um, I know I said in my video that I might keep this sealed, but I opened it. <laughs> Alan Wake. Um, I actually started playing through it again. It's still a brilliant game. Yes. But yeah, um, brilliant game. This is one of my favorite games of this generation. Fantastic. Um, there's no room. And this last stack right here are um, games I got from my local pawn shop. Um, yeah, um, as I said in my last video, like they had a whole bunch of games that were a buck each. So I went back and picked up all these. Um, yeah, actually, like there are 19 here. Um, they were a buck each. I was actually going to pick up one more. Um, was it Blood Rain? Or was it Blood Rain? Yeah, yeah, it was Blood Rain. I had it in this stack, however. Um, when I went up there, I realized I didn't have enough money um, with me to pay for it so yeah I took that down um, but I did pick up the rest of these two GameCube games here pretty happy with this um, Extreme G Racing Association or pretty much Ex Extreme G4 um, awesome game really happy to have this for a buck and this one I really don't care about to tell the truth but it was a buck so any GameCube game um, that isn't a sports game for a buck I would pick up right away Tom Fancy's Ghost Recon. Um, yeah, it's complete. Yeah, I don't know why this barcode thing is here, but yeah, for buff whatever. Um, four PS2 games here. Got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. Have this for GameCube. Don't have it for PS2, so pick that up. Tony Hawk's Underground Two. Again, same thing. Complete. Um, actually in pretty good shape. All I need to do is get this sticker, these stickers off, but. And um, I had SSX Tricky, but I didn't have any of the other SSX, I even had SSX Blur, but I didn't have any of the original, so I got SSX for a buck, and SSX 3 for a buck. Both are complete in good shape, so I was happy with that. And then, um, as you saw in my last video, a lot of Xbox games, so I went back, picked up more 
Xbox games. Um, a buck a piece though, you can't really complain. So I got Medal of Honor Frontline. I own this for PS2, but didn't have it for Xbox. Um, yeah, complete. Um, picked up The Sims. Had this for PS2 as well, however, picked up the Xbox version. For some reason I thought this was a somewhat valuable game, but it isn't, so. Um, picked this up because it's exclusive. Midtown Madness 3. I uh, have not popped this in, don't really know what it's about. Um, seems like a Top Gear type racing game or something, I don't know. Um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2. Um, yeah, not really the biggest fan of Tom Clancy games, to tell the truth, but whatever, for a buck, I picked it up. Um, this is a terrible game here, and I already knew that, but um, Fight Club. It's pretty crappy. Um, from Russia with Love, 007. Um, have not played this. This is one of the only 007 games, like, recent 007 games that I've never actually played. Um, so I'll probably give this a try, see if it's any good. Then these last uh, seven here are what I consider the better titles for a buck. Um, I mean, this one, not really. I mean, Dead or Alive 3. It's a pretty common game, and this is the Platinum Hits, and there's no manual. So that kind of sucks, but... Uh, whatever, I wanted to play the game, so I got it for a buck. Alright, got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, uh, per, it's a cel-shaded Teenage Mutant. I mean, it's, it's a beat-em-up. Um, decent Xbox game, I guess. Um... Black, which is a shooter developed by Criterion. Um, yeah, for a buck. I mean, like, for some reason, this game is, like, really in high demand. Um, I mean, it's not expensive at all, but it's in high demand for some reason. Like, a whole bunch of people, like, realize that this is a great game all of a sudden, so. Got Kung Fu Chaos, which I believe this has no manual. Yeah, no manual, but it's exclusive, and um, I popped this in. It's a decent game. Nothing really that great, but for a buck. Um, Doom 3, same thing, no manual, and this is actually Planet Hits disc, which kind of sucks, but, um, Doom 3 is an awesome game, it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, but, yeah, and these two are the best ones, um, got Scarface, um, The World is Yours, which really, tells you the game itself, I have no interest in, however, um, it's a pretty valuable game, in turn, like, it goes for around 15 bucks, so, pretty happy with that, it's complete. Um, happy with that. And the last one is Rollercoaster Tycoon, which um, is th has no manual. That's the receipt from, yeah, from Pawn Shop. Um, yeah, it's it's still awesome to have. Uh, I hate to tell you that I hate the Xbox version. I put this in. It's not nearly as good as the PC version, but um, still, it's it's okay. Yeah. PC version is awesome though. But yeah, that's my pickup from May. Yeah, May. So, thank you for watching.